Hello once again people of the internet and welcome to Retro Rewind where we take a look at and review old games and see if they're still worth your time playing. So should you play Abe's Odyssey from 1997? Hello. Before we get into the technical aspects of playing an old game on modern hardware, let's talk about the game itself. Follow me. Gameplay. For the purposes of this video, we will be mainly talking about the original release of Abe's Odyssey, but we will be touching on the new and tasty remake near the end of the video. You play as Abe, a strange humanoid creature called a Madokan, working at a meat processing plant known as Rupture Farms on the planet Oddworld. It's a pretty grim, dark and cruel world. As Abe, you begin the game by trying to escape your slavers, by running from one screen to the next, dodging half-mechanical, half-alien dog things called sligs. These sligs are like the result of a torrid love affair between a Roomba and a Terminator. Part vacuum cleaner, part gun-toting menace. Your only abilities are an ancient power to possess your foes. It's like a supernatural game of Simon Says, but instead of touch your nose, it's mind control the slig and make it moonwalk off a cliff. You also use your ancient ability to summon portals to rescue your fellow Madokan slaves, who will follow your every instruction, even if that means walking into a blender. The game keeps a tally of how many innocent Madokans you've slaved and how many you've inadvertently turned into organic smoothies. It's like a guilt trip sponsored by a juicer company. Congratulations, Abe! You've blended 37 Madokans today! Keep it up! As 2D platformers go, it's definitely a unique spin on the genre. There are puzzle elements to the game that are baked into the core gameplay, and the game is not forgiving if you mess up, as there are no health bars. One wrong step, and you're pureed Madokan. Now let's discuss the controls. You know when you're trying to steer a shopping cart with a wonky wheel through a crowded supermarket? That's Abe's movements. Sluggish, clunky, with a noticeable delay. But fear not, over time you will adapt like a sloth learning salsa. Slow, but oddly endearing. And then there's the Steam and GOG PC ports. There is no mouse support at all, only keyboard. You can use a controller, but you have to manually select that you're using a controller in the options and then rebind every single button to something that makes sense. It's a bit of a chore, especially if it's your first time playing. Verdict. Graphics. The graphics are good, sort of. Bear in mind the footage I'm showing on screen is a mixture of the PC version and the PS1 version and has been recorded, compressed, uploaded, crunched by YouTube and then stretched out on your modern display. The weird, janky, oddly interlaced cutscenes on PC though, that's, that's in the game on PC. The visual design of the game was made with the precision of a Swiss watchmaker to work on old low-res monitors and CRT TVs. On modern screens, however, it's not the prettiest retro game out there. If you happen to have an old CRT laying around, next to your collection of slap bracelets and Tamagotchis, this game transforms. Suddenly the pixels align like synchronised swimmers and the colours pop like fireworks on New Year's Eve, with as much colour as Oddworld actually has. Verdict. Audio. The sound design is a large part of this game, and you can tell it was an integral part of the development process from conception to completion. It all works well and sounds amazing. <laughs> from communicating with your fellow Madokans to the atmospheric background music that adapts to the situation you're in. Yeah. But as audio files take up a sizeable chunk of the overall game size, and file size was a big bottleneck back in the PS1 days, it's unfortunately had considerable compression done to it, and it shows. But it still works and adds to the nostalgia. Verdict. Please to obtain, install and run. The game first came out on PS1, MS-DOS and Windows 95, and then later on to Steam and GOG.com. Obviously, the PS1 version still runs and plays as it did back in the day, providing you have a working PS1 and a scratch-free disc. However, 
For Steam and GOG, the game isn't the smoothest way to play on modern machines. Cutscenes are choppy and problematic, and while it does just about support controllers, you have to manually assign all the buttons yourself, otherwise they're all over the place. There are guides around on how to fix some of the issues, ranging from altering compatibility in the EXE settings, to installing third-party programs that emulates old DirectX. All in all though, it's not the most pleasant way to play the game, but that being said, it does play. On Steam and GOG, you're looking at around £2, and the original PS1 game runs you about £5 on Fleabay. If the price varies by the time you're watching this video, let us know down in the comments how much you've seen it for, and also how much it costs in your country. Verdict. Final thoughts. The game was incredible on release, and I played the heck out of it, despite its steep learning curve, and I remember looking forward to where else it would take the Oddworld series. Fast forward to today. Our screens are sleeker, our expectations are higher, and our attention spans are shorter than a squirrel on espresso. And there stands Abe, pixelated and unapologetic. But the truth? Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey, hasn't aged like fine wine. It's more like that forgotten can of pop in the back of your cupboard. Still a bit fizzy, but lacking the sparkle. I wouldn't recommend giving it a go, unless you have access to the original PlayStation. But wait, Enter the 2014 remake, a phoenix rising from the pixelated ashes, recreated from the ground up and given a ton of love by people who clearly respect the original vision of the game. It has crisp visuals and much smoother controls. Every single complaint anyone ever had about the original has been fixed in the remake. It's definitely worth your time. But in this video, we're just scoring the original game. And as such, 